I had a bridal trial with a professional makeup artist and this is everything I learned in the process. Skin prep for bridal makeup is so crucial. Lindsay was using really expensive stuff and it made such a difference on the final outcome. She applied this first solid liquid highlighter on my chest and on my cheekbones, which made the final look really ethereal and glowy. In the past, I've attempted to do my own bridal makeup and I always mess it up on the eyebrow. She did a really good job individually drawing each individual hair. For eyeshadow, we had two different options and I went for a more plummy base because I really wanted my green eyes to pop. Lindsay has this delicate technique where she's like building, 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 on the lash line to get more depth instead of a really harsh line. She's using tapes in an untraditional way. She added them after she did a lot of the blending and diffusing on the lid. Using tapes at the end versus for the entire eyeshadow routine allows you to get a really sharp edge in a specific part of the eye instead of the entire eyeshadow look. Cleaning up with tapes and micellar water allows you to be really precise. I'm slightly insecure about my eye shape. I always want it to look more elongated instead of round. Adding these individual lashes at the end of my eye is really elongating the shape. We even opted for a matte flesh tone eyeshadow instead of something really bright because we wanted to minimize that eye space to elongate the eye even more. Waiting for the moisturizer to sink into your skin before applying the primer is such a game changer. This foundation changed my life. This is a Tom Ford Soft Radiance Foundation in shade 6. It did not budge for the 8 hours that I had it on. And the color match? Are you kidding me? It's insane. I've never tried Tom Ford complexion products. She put this bronzer on. I kind of lost my mind. I don't know if I love the foundation or the bronzer more. They're both insane. Leave a comment down below if you run to buy a makeup product because your makeup artist used it on you because that's exactly what happened to me. I have hereditary dark circles so I request I said that Lindsay used my color corrector and concealer combo. I have a whole video on it coming soon. It blended in beautifully with the Tom Ford products. I made my dark circles completely disappear. I learned a lot of techniques. She warms things up on the back of her hand, applies it with a brush, and then blends everything out with a sponge. And she uses some products in unexpected ways. Like, for example, she's using a foundation powder as a bronzer. She layers powder and cream blush. She doesn't love to contour the nose. She uses way more precise brushes for contouring. I could go on and on. I still plan to do my own makeup for my destination wedding, but as far as my wedding here in Miami, I don't know. I think I might change my mind because it was such a stress-free experience and I love, love, love the way that this came out. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you would do in the comments.